Hello everyone and welcome to Forensic Science India. My name is Arunima and today's topic is going to be injuries, a general introduction. So let's get started. So what is an injury? Section 44 of the Indian Penal Code defines injury as any harm caused illegally to a person either in mind, body, reputation or property. So this particular definition underlines that the harm has to be caused illegally. So not all injuries may be caused illegally. Some of them can be accidental. Some of them can be done in self-defense. It also takes into consideration the injury that is done to the mind. So it underlines any harmful activity that may have caused any kind of mental torture, reputation, harming the uh, respect of the person or to the property, something that is non-living also. Injuries can result in death by the following modes, suicidal, homicidal and accidental. And that is the medical legal significance of the injury examination to determine that in what way that particular injury has been fatal. Now we come to classification of injuries. The injuries can be classified firstly on the basis of their causative force. It can be done on mechanical injuries. The mechanical injuries can be of two types. It can either be blunt force trauma or sharp force trauma. A blunt force trauma is one that is inflicted by any object which has a blunt edge. It does not have a sharpened edge and it can be in the forms of abrasion contusion or laceration in either of the three there is no actual bleeding it is all the extravasated blood and all the superficial bleeding these are not that much fatal in nature but sometimes it can be fatal fractures can also be further classified as a simple fracture a compound fracture a commutated fracture depending upon where the fracture is occurring and what is the severity of the fracture the next is sharp force trauma. It is generally inflicted by sharpened weapons and it can be of two types. Incised wounds, these are very distinct in shape. They have got a starting point as well as a tail. That is, it has got a head as well as a tail and these are very spindle shaped in nature. Chop wounds are often inflicted by using uh, very sharp weapons, for example, a butcher's knife uh, and with the aim to cause some fatal injury. Thermal injuries are often caused due to extreme of temperature, either due to very cold or due to very heat. So the cold ones are frostbite, trench foot and immersion foot. Frostbite is very common. The exposed parts of our skin when uh, subjected to very cold temperature, often there is peeling of the skin. Our skin turns a slight pink in color and uh, the skin will become very coarse in nature and uh, also uh, if the mountain peak climbers are wearing some uh, very gloved shoes in those uh, places also often trench foot is very common if the foot has been immersed in a very cold water then uh, it will form certain patterns and lines will be formed on the pad of our fingers also due to heat Burns are caused due to wet heat, whereas scars are caused due to dry heat. And often like the burn injuries are also classified and examination of the burn injuries is also done. Chemical injuries, these are caused due to corrosives or irritants. Corrosives are the strong acids and alkalis like concentrated sulfuric acid, concentrated nitric acid, concentrated hydrochloric acid. Even if they fall on the surface of the skin, it can cause corrosion of the skin. And if they are being inhaled or they are being ingested, then it can cause corrosion of the GI tract as well as the other internal organs. Also alkalis like sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide. Irritants. These can cause a slight irritation, for example, weak acids and alkalis. Irritants can also be some kind of plant irritant as well as animal irritant. Plant irritants can be like uh, the different types of plants that causes certain uh, scratching, that causes certain allergies and uh, brings about certain dots within the skin. The animal irritants can be like uh, flies or these can be like honeybees or uh, cantharides, etc. 
These can also be the weak acids and alkalis like oxalic acid, potassium hydroxide. Under the section of chemical injuries, vitriolage forms a very important part. Vitriolage is also known as the act of causing an acid attack. It is given under section 326 part A of IPC. It is listed as one of the grievous hurt because it can cause certain uh, dismemberment of the face or it can cause several other uh, disorders also. And the punishment for is 10 years of imprisonment along with fine. And also it is a non-bailable and non-compoundable offense. Also it is cognizable in nature. Miscellaneous injuries are the ones which are caused by x-rays. Sometimes skin cancer is also caused due to it. Lightning, the arborescent marks which are formed on the body is due to if a lightning strikes. Especially if the person is wearing a metal uh, cloth or metal... Uh, any kind of uh, jewelry or any kind of bangle, kadha especially and in that case the arborescent marks will increase. Uh, electricity especially in the case of open wires or live wires which have come in contact with the wet surface if any person touches it without proper protection or proper earthing can sustain such injuries. Radioactive substances, these are uh, common if people have been working in certain uh, industries, especially in the nuclear power plants or any kind of such uh, labs where they are exposed to radioactive substances. Classifications on the basis of medical legal significance. It can be suicidal injury. Section 309 of IPC states that uh, suicide is no longer considered as an offense. But Section 306 of IPC says that any person who is found to abet suicide or aid in the abatement of suicide, that is if any person instigates other person to cause a suicide or to commit a suicide, then he will be charged with that of Section 306. Homicidal section 299 that talks about culpable homicide and section 300 of IPC that talks about uh, murder. Accidental injuries, injuries that may have been taken up due to accident, especially in the case of hit and run and in the case of drunken drive. Defense. Section 76 to Section 106 of IPC talks about the general exceptions to the punishment where the uh, self-defense towards the body and towards the property is taken up. Fabricated wounds often uh, like in the case of domestic violence or in the case of uh, hit and run cases or in order to claim any fake insurance or claim any amount from uh, alimony payments, the opposite party can take up certain wounds and uh, these fabricated wounds can be classified from the original wounds by looking at the color changes also sometimes their examination chemical examination is done to see the uh, presence of uh, these um, external sources that may have caused the wound injuries related to death antemortem injuries are the injuries that may have occurred prior to death and it may or may not be fatal in nature. It reveals the time since death. The antemortem injuries, for example, abrasion, contusions, fractures, they all have their own healing period. So looking at the condition of the wound, we can understand whether it was antemortem or postmortem. If it has healed up to a certain period of time, it means that it has been more than 15 days or more than a week of uh, getting that injury and it may not be uh, the reason for death actually type of weapon used especially by looking at the injury we can find out whether it was a blunt force trauma or a sharp force trauma or whether it was a firearm injury uh, amount of force applied uh, depending upon the depth of the wound we can understand how much force has been applied also sometimes the direction of the weapon can be understood sometimes the weapon has got certain marks on its blade and uh, by the uh, pattern of cut that is present on the surface of the skin, we can also find out what may be the exact dimensions of the weapon that is being used. Number of blows strike, also depending upon number of cut marks that are present, number of uh, stab wounds that are present, we can find out how many times a person has been attacked. Postmortem injuries are the ones that may have occurred after the death uh, and it may be indicative of foul play especially if the injury is postmortem it won't show any uh, sign of healing it won't show any color change that takes place with the healing of the wound so with that we can understand that might be the case is a suspectful death and uh, sometimes these injuries may also be sustained while uh, transportation of the body from one part to another or by the medical expert 
experts themselves while conducting an autopsy there can be certain surgical uh, injuries and that all uh, may not always essentially be something of foul play classification on the basis of legal terms uh, so simple hurt section 319 of ipc talks about simple hurt and uh, grievous hurt is given under section 320 of ipc so there are eight scenarios which is considered to be grievous hurt the first one is emasculation the second one is permanent privation of the eyesight permanent privation of the hearing permanent privation of any member and permanent privation of any movement or dismemberment of any joint of the body permanent uh, loss of uh, the damage to the face or permanent uh, scarring of the face and uh, breaking of a bone or a tooth permanent dislocation or breaking and the last if the person sustains death within 20 days of getting inflicted with that injury then that will be also called as grievous hurt any other hurt that does not fall under these following eight categories will be considered as simple hurt given under section 319 in the following uh, sessions of the presentation we will see what every classification of injury looks like what is a uh, abrasion what is a contusion because the differentiation becomes difficult uh, once it comes to practical use for that we require proper photographs so i'll be explaining that in the upcoming presentations so that is all for today thank you for your patient hearing if you want to know further about it don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions put them in the comment section below thank you